studios, ladies and gentlemen. It's Coach Gerald Carr. Yeah. Uh, Coach, everybody knows you as far as Storm Center wrestling, most everybody, but there are going to be a few people out there <laughs> who don't know the story behind Storm Center and uh -huh. where you all uh, started from. So let's talk about what year actually that Storm okay. Center started. Storm Center started in 2011. Um, I had just finished up my 11th year uh, assisting at West Lawrence and uh, mm -hmm. decided to break off and uh, I've been, I, I got encouraged to do my own little training thing, so I just finally got the, got the nerve up to venture off on my own in 2011. Yeah. We, uh, we crunk it up and been going pretty strong ever since. Yeah, and you've spanned out. We had you on since you kind of moved the center over to uh, Perry. Uh -huh. You still work with a lot of kids here. I you do. work with kids from Vidalia, from all over middle Georgia, throughout Georgia, and uh, you put on camps throughout the United States, I do. don't you? I do, I, I travel quite a bit. Um, uh, just trying to, um, you know, give people the knowledge that I, I've acquired over the years and hopefully it can help them in this sport and in life itself yeah. as well. We're here for a real special young man today, Coach. Uh, Chase Horn's one of your uh, wrestlers from, I mean, little bitty <laughs> dude out there just hanging around because his brother was there. That's it. That's yeah. it. Oh, he started way back when he was five years old. I can remember it. Had bottle, bottle uh, goggles on. He you came, taking me he, back he, now, man. Yes, yeah, you remember those. Yeah, he came along with uh, with your son. Came in there. Actually, they started the same year. Uh, they started the same. Ben was a little bit older than mm -hmm. Chase, but they started the same year. It? And um, and this kid, he's uh, I, to be honest with you, I would have never fathomed uh, that he would have got to where he's at right now. Uh, but the kid has. He's he's pay, he's. He's paid the price, he's put the time in, he's put the effort in, and he's reaping the benefits right now. I'm proud of him. Joe, I can remember him, like you say, just hanging around. Yes. Kinda. You yes. know, he was just a kid, but he yes. would he would get on the mat with virtually anyone, <laughs> anybody. He? Anybody. He'd let he wouldn't stick afraid. his head in That's the mat. That's it. Yeah, his his whole belief. Um and and and, and I try to uh, um, impose this on other kids. This is what Chase did. He believes he never loses, he just runs out of time. That's his belief, and 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 if you go by that, you're gonna you're gonna achieve a lot of things in the, a lot of things in this sport, a lot of great things. So yeah. He's, so he's, breaking it all down, if you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, wrestling goes in time periods, yes. and for different ages, it's different amounts. But mm -hmm. you got three different time periods as a rule when you're wrestling, and yes. and you don't want to run out of out of time <laughs> unless you're ahead on points. That's exactly or, right. Or you know, got them on the back, of course. But. Yes. Uh, but yeah, uh, it just run out of time. I That's like it. that. That's his motto. But you started yeah. to say uh, he, he didn't fear anyone. He wasn't afraid to get he on the mat. With he anyone. wasn't. I mean, he he welcomed the challenge, mm. and and that's some people try to avoid competition. Yeah. yeah. And that's and even though he used to honestly, he used to get waxed. He yeah. used to get waxed, thrown around the mat. Just <laughs> but the kid just kept getting right back up, saying, "I want some more. I want yeah. some." No, smile and just keep coming. Yeah. I mean, I remember. Even his teammates in competition, mm -hmm. uh, wrestling his own teammates has cost him three or four kids state titles. Yeah. He got beat by his own teammates mm -hmm. in the state finals, but didn't deter him. He just kept, yeah. he keeps coming. And now yeah. he's a two-time high school state champ and just a sophomore in high school. Yeah. Uh, knocked off the number one ranked kid in the nation at the weight mm -hmm. just, uh, just a week ago. Yeah. Uh, and, and this kid is a monster. This kid is already committed <laughs> going to Wisconsin next year, yeah. University of Wisconsin. Yeah. And uh, and Chase, he he out the kid outweighed him probably by sixty, sixty pounds. It looked like it. This kid is huge, yeah. six six. Mm -hmm. And 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 Chase just texted me. The kid told him he was weighing three nineteen before he got to that tournament. So. By the time they wrestled, he was probably back up. You know, they weighed in at 285. Yeah. By the time they wrestled, he was back up to his normal weight. Yeah. So he was 6'6", 319. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Chase took it to him. Yeah. Take it to him, yeah. and then that's what it's good. all about. Yeah. And, and ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, the weight classes obviously go up. You you may have figured that out. Mm -hmm. But when you get to the heavy weight, <laughs> you cannot weigh over 285. And so Unless the man was walking around at at three nineteen. Three nineteen after 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 we weighed in, he yeah. had a full day to recover. Yeah. So he put that, that weight, weight back, came on. back on. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. A, a good wrestler can drop weight. Yes. They know how to drop 
20 pounds yes. if they need to or whatever yeah. it is. And 25, healthy 30. too. There, I mean, the old days, people used to say, uh, you did it the wrong, but there's a yeah. healthy way of doing yeah. it and it's been proven and a lot of kids do that now. Yeah, so. yeah and it's Good discipline yes. is what it is. Yes. It's you, just, you, you just shape up your diet. Yeah, you know, work work hard, get in there, and, and mostly it's the proper diet that that helps you take out all the all the sweets and all the bad mm -hmm. foods and mm -hmm. eat healthy, yeah. and your that weight will come off yeah. it's, it, during the practices that we do. Yeah, so. no doubt about it. Yeah. I've always said, you know, because my kid would come out of football and go into wrestling, it's a totally different <laughs> shape. I mean, you got yes. to dig down deep. You got to. It's a, this sport. It it. it it demands every, it's not just one little area. It demands your whole body that's to be in condition, mm -hmm. especially the mind. The right. mind is the, the, you know, that's the, that's the part that we try to focus on. That's yeah. what separates us from a lot of people. Yeah. I get the mental side of it and get kids believe in themselves. So mm -hmm. that's yeah, what it's all you about. You do that, Gerald, for sure. So mm -hmm. I want to encourage you out there, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. If you got a young man that's tough, uh, he's got some girth to him. You know, he's got guts. Yes. You know that. He's tough. And you want to bring him to that level of discipline. Because I can tell you this, and, and you should know it, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. that the physically dominant person isn't always the one that wins. No, it's not. you got to be physically dominant and mentally dominant. Yes, yes. But you take that on through life, see, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Do. If you yes, get you involved do. with wrestling, there's nothing like Storm Center. I can <laughs> preach it from the mountaintop, ladies and gentlemen. I know it. I got a testimony of yes, it. Yes, you do. But in going forward, if you want that, if if you just want, and not everybody's going to win. No. Not everybody's going to get to go. No. Chase didn't get it every time not when every, he was no, a little he didn't. kid. I promise you he, he didn't. He didn't get much at all, did No, he, he? didn't. No, he didn't. But, but he kept He kept, it. yes. He, he never stopped. He, mm -hmm. he just kept working hard. Never allowed himself to f feel sorry for himself. <laughs> That's the one thing. It the kid, is. His confidence level yeah. is unmatched. I've never coached a kid who had confidence in himself like he does. Yeah. And, and Chase is not the greatest athlete in the world. Nope. I, I promise you that. He's yep. not great. But he believes that he can compete with anybody. Mm -hmm. And that's that's yeah. the biggest yeah. step you need to and, take. And it's that practice, Coach. You know, it's reaction. Yes. It's, a, it's that if they lean this way, I know to go this that's way. That's exactly it's right. That, it's that practice and practice and practice mm -hmm. that you do. That yes. drilling. It's being in shape. But, again, it's that not only physical confidence, but that the mental, mental confidence. Side of it. You yes. know where you are the whole yes. time you got to you got I mean you just you got to stay focused and, and, and be in mm -hmm. tune with what's going on on that mm -hmm. match against your opponent people react different ways so you got to be in tune with that mm -hmm. and uh, and first and foremost it starts with how you practice and how you come into that competition yeah. the mindset yeah. how you how you prepare for it and yeah. when you prepare for it the right way yeah it's going to be hard to beat yeah. you. Now, it's Gerald, gonna... you know how to break down some film on I people do. now. You I know do. what a wrestler looks like. If it's a little kid wrestling, mm -hmm. another little kid, you can watch that kid, and by the end of the first period, you pretty well know what's. If the if your kid can hang around that <laughs> period, that's true. you know what to tell yes, him sir. to do. Yes, sir. Um, you, you train those kids so well, and I've always admired it the way they hear you no matter what's going on in that gym because there's a lot going on it in that gym. It is a lot going on in the gym. But man. they know your voice because every time at practice, you belting it out to them. You I telling do. them what to do, yeah. what to hit, what, and they do it. It's, it's a well-oiled machine. Well, I try to make, I try to make practice similar to what they're going to see in tournaments, yeah. okay? And, uh, yeah, I've been blessed with the loud voice. People, uh, <laughs> uh, I've, I've kids come back and tell me they can't yeah. hear nobody else, but yeah. when, they, when they hear me yell, they, they yeah. know exactly. And, and they, and they know hit it. it. Yes, yes. Yeah. They, I mean, I, 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 there's a purpose behind it. I want those kids to understand that I want them performing, and I know they can do this stuff, yeah. I, I, but you need sometimes you need that encouragement. Yeah, so you do. That's what I'm there for. Yeah, you, you know? do. And so. breaking it down, Coach, I can take it back. I've seen you do it with my own kid. I've yes, seen sir. you do it with so many kids. As soon as that match is over, I don't care if they won. It's time to coach. That's exactly right. And you get on where they fell short, and you build them up. A lot of people, I mean, a lot of – parents see or some of the kids don't understand it right off the bat yeah they, they understand all they understand is they got their hand raised mm -hmm. but um <laughs> a, a couple of instances where you could have did this wrong or did yeah. this better you yeah. i mean it could have that whole outcome could have changed so that's what i'm there for i'm mm -hmm. going but in the very end 
Yeah, yeah I'm going to dare. I'm going to build you up to where yeah. and make you understand I'm proud of you, mm -hmm. but I want you to want a little bit more. Yeah. I want you to and, yeah. and, and never be satisfied with where, mm -hmm. where you've gotten. I always try to attain to get to that next level. Yeah. So, and it's that one wrong move. Yes. That can kill you. Yes, it is. You yes, can dominate is. and you can be doing so well, and then it's that one wrong move. Yes, sir. yourself in a bad position. Yes, sir. And that's, and that's part of coaching. You want them to avoid that yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. It, it, some, it, it's going to happen at times. And, you know, my kids, your kids been through it. Yep. Um, yep. We've all been through it, but we try to limit those, those, uh, uh, those instances to as much as we can. Mm -hmm. that, that comes back to the discipline part yeah. of it. If you're yeah. disciplined mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and you stay or be aware of what we're, what's going on during that match, yeah. those, those occurrences yeah. won't happen and you very just often. Don't, we talk about Chase Horn. You just don't see him in a bad position. No. I mean, he, he gets there a lot sometimes, he, but he recovers yeah. well. Like I said, I mean, he's he's generally in a great position. Um, he understands what his body can do. Yeah. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. Chase knows what he can do and what he can't do. You yeah. got some people who enter the sport, and they see other wrestlers perform these <laughs> these great moves, these or what they call great moves. Yeah, they want to try to emulate yeah. that, and it, they don't understand. There's a there's a limit. Uh, all that time put in just yeah. for those kids to execute those moves. You can't right. just go out there and execute. And, and Chase, he works on the stuff. He and he's limited. Like I told you, he's not a great athlete, yeah. but he what he does, he's really good at. Yeah. He's really good. Mm -hmm. He works on the stuff. He knows that he can actually mm -hmm. execute, and he and he he pounds it. And he honestly, he just grinds and grinds. Yeah. I mean, he's after practice. Uh, he's hidden. He's working on this certain shot almost every practice uh, just to get it down. And uh, if you watch the video of that match, he executes it against the number one ranked kid mm -hmm. and, and, and finishes it. Yeah. And that, that's the, we've been preaching that. We've been preaching that single leg, that snatching that single and, uh, and uh, finishing. That's the biggest thing. Getting in on the leg is, is great. One thing, but yeah, finishing yeah. is the, that's, that's where you get the glory. Yeah. And, he, I mean, he hit it on that big guy, and I was, yeah. I was, man, that's what I'm talking about. That, that's what made me more proud than anything, yeah. executing, yeah, executing. executing what we worked on all the time. So. All right, so we're going to take a short break. We're going to be back. We want to show you this match with Chase Horn, so yeah. you stay with us. All right. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. Hey, I'm Tom Dominey with Devlin Wynn Nelson, and we're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and is able to answer your questions and is ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wynn Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. So come by and see us at Dublin Wynn Nelson, 507 Airport Road, or give us a call at 478-272-3585 or stop by and see our website at DublinWynnNelson.com. I'm Heath Richter and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now obviously but uh, have, uh, have a new office here and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering and uh, if you need to get checked out we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got uh, able to do some ultrasound guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. All right, we're back with Coach Carr, and Coach Carr, you know, we, we talked about Chase last year. We showed that state championship. Yes. I mean, you know, sometimes you got competition, mm -hmm. sometimes you don't. Yes. But I guarantee you everybody else in that weight class say, yeah, I had some competition. <laughs> Might not have been Chase, but, that's, that's and that's true. the way it goes. He's so disciplined. He did well. He won state in high school, and so he moves on. Now, let's talk about the circuit from the time wrestling, regular wrestling season's mm -hmm. over, and what you do with wrestlers, good wrestlers from that point. Um, uh, great wrestlers get better in not during the season, but what they do in the off season. Yeah. Uh, Chase is one of those ones who's who bought into that. He's he's uh, 
He's willing to do what we call freestyle and Greco. He goes into a different style of wrestling. What they do during the school school year is called folk style. Mm -hmm. um, Greco and freestyle season starts, you know, uh, about a month or so after uh, folk style season, mm -hmm. and that's that's what you see in the Olympics, and uh, and and truly that that improves your folk style tr uh, drastically if you get involved in this in that style of wrestling. It, it's um, it teaches you great position. It teaches you discipline because a simple if somebody just pushes you out of bounds, they score a point. Yeah. Which is not, it doesn't happen in folk style. So it teaches you to stay in that match and stay in that guy's face and keep grinding. And uh, if you just roll through, a simple roll through, that's two points for, for your opponent if you're rolling around. So it yeah. teaches you to stay, keep great position and all that stuff as mm -hmm. well. So he, he, he's done that over the last three or four years, really at a high level. He went, he's gone to Fargo. He was All-American two years ago in, in the Greco side. He, he, he went as a, a Greco in a freestyle. He was All-American in Greco. And then last year, he stepped it up. He was a double All-American. He was an All-American. He placed third in, in freestyle and in Greco, so, which is very Incredible. tough to do. Yeah. Uh, Fargo is like one of – Fargo is the toughest, toughest tournament for, for high school kids or, or middle school kids in the nation mm -hmm. by far. And see, Coach, that's what you seek. Yes. You going after the tournaments where the competition is. Yes. I mean, why put in all that work and <laughs> that time and that sweat and effort and not, and not go get it? Not go get it. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And um, a lot of people say we're from Georgia. You know how. Oh, yeah. You've been around. You, yeah, people look at yeah. Georgia and frown on wrestling. Now, people like Chase is putting Georgia on the map. Mm -hmm. He shows we can compete with anybody in the nation. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's my drive. And I'll try to imp implement that on all my wrestlers and stuff mm -hmm. to prove yourself. All right, so Chase was, uh, last year he wrestled at what, at 195? No, at 220. All right, he wrestled at 220, my yes, bad. Sir. So he's at 220, mm -hmm. and he's going he to wrestle a dude that's going to make weight at 285. Yes, uh, that's another impressive thing. Chase is weighing, right now he's he's beefed up what he called beefed up mm -hmm. he's up to about 235 <laughs> <laughs> so he and he's hopefully he'll hit a growth spurt like his brother did he, you yeah. know his brother ended up yeah, his brother's huge big boy he's yeah. a big boy so i think chase is about ready but he's given up a lot of size he's a small but he's agile he's agile for his he can do a full split wow that's how agile chase is he's not the greatest athlete but he's very limber and he, that's what separates him. He's very agile for his size. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's moving up a weight. And like I said, he's giving up 50, 60 pounds wow. to, to the elite heavyweights right now. All right, and so let's talk about the dude that he took on. Yes, sir. Tell me about him. What did you know about him? Going I, well, days? I saw him at Super 32, uh, which is probably the second toughest tournament in the nation. It's a, it's a, uh, if you place at one of these tournaments, you pretty much guarantee yourself a D1 scholarship. Mm -hmm. and, um, this kid made the finals at Super 32. And he, and um, ironically, uh, Chase made the finals as well the same year. He made it at 220. Okay. And the kid that uh, Chase, he lost in the finals. The kid that beat Chase is going to be that kid's teammate at Wisconsin. Both of them are going to Wisconsin. All right. And they, I'm, I mean, uh, these are men. These, uh, these are not boys anymore. Chase, Chase went in there as an upcoming sophomore, and uh, he knocked off some quality guys to get to the finals and gave – the, the kid he faced in the finals was the number one ranked kid in the nation um, at his weight. And this kid is, uh, he impressed me so much. I ain't going to lie to you. He's going to Wisconsin for a reason. Yeah. Like, he was yeah. a three-time, he's a three-time Super 32 champion. Man. And that, if that tells you anything, mm -hmm. he was a three or four-time yeah. high, high, um, high school state champ. This kid, this kid was number one in the nation for you a reason. You don't get in on somebody no. like that, do you? <laughs> no. You don't get in on that no. leg on somebody no. like that. And Chase, Chase, Chase gave him his toughest match that weekend. It was an it was a eight to three match, eight to two match somewhere, but he battled. Yeah. And, and, and now he's got uh, July 15th was the um, – First day, coaches can contact sophomores okay. or upcoming juniors. Uh -huh. He had 20, over 20, 20 calls from D1 schools. Nice. 20 to 24 calls. Mm -hmm. And you don't, get, you don't get that unless you've done something special. No. You, you don't, don't get one call. Tell me about it. <laughs> Especially, you know, wrestling D1, he's, he's got all the Big Ten, all the big time conferences nice. calling him right now. We're going to see him somewhere. Yes. He can stay healthy, if stay he stays strong. Healthy, that's exactly right. Keep the mindset that he's on right now. He's... 
And that's the thing. He's a fun-loving kid. Yeah. He doesn't get too big for his britches. Nice. If he does, then, you know, we'll bring him back down. But, <laughs> but I mean, I don't have to worry about that. He yeah. understands that he, in order to be the best, he's got to work, and he doesn't stop working. That's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. Got a great work ethic. But you're going to pull it out of him, yes. Coach. You you're going to either run them off or they're going <laughs> to get exactly better. That's exactly right. You, you've seen it yeah. um, with your own son. I think, to be honest with you, I think your son was a D1 wrestler. Yeah. He was a two-time two-time state champ, three-time finalist, mm. and he was really good. Yeah. I mean, he just decided to go a different route, right. which is That's okay. Right. But, Coach, what you feed into him and, mm -hmm. and that discipline that mm -hmm. you see and how they mature and they know, if you can, I've said it before, if you can get your head shoved down in that mat, get up and, get up. and wrestle back. Yes, and, sir. And, and, I don't care if you want it up, but if you win. That's exactly right. You I keep mean, coming and you that's can do it. most anything in yeah. life. You, and if you work that hard, have that discipline, if you'll carry that on through. Oh, you will be you, very be successful in whatever you do. Very successful. Coach. And that's why that's why that's the motto for wrestling. It prepares you for life. Yeah, it, does. it pre prepares you beyond mm -hmm. the mat. I and mean, you're gonna get knocked down in life. We yeah. all been knocked down. Yeah. Yeah. Life is tough. It, is. it hits you square in the face, and mm -hmm. if you lay there what and waddling, yes, what you gonna do when you get get yeah, punched, in, get the punched in the mouth? You gonna bow that's up right. or just yeah. you know get ran yeah. over? So yep. that's what it's all, all about. All right, we're gonna take you to the footage now and watch yes, this match. Now set it up for us, Coach. Okay. Um, Chase is wrestling. Uh, this is uh, wrestling uh, kid from Wisconsin. He's uh, he's um, from Kong. This team is called Kong. They, I thought he was just that big, Coach. <laughs> when I saw the singlet <laughs> said Kong. No, that, that's the, that's the name of the team. They yeah. this team uh, is for, based out of New Jersey, New York but they recruit from all over the nation. Mm -hmm. they, they go to tournaments to win them. Yeah. Now, they, 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 I call them mercenaries because they got almost every weight class, they got a top-ranked kid. Mm -hmm. um, and it is what it is. That's mm -hmm. what you face when you mm -hmm. go to these national tournaments. Yeah. And, uh, and they had this kid on their team. And uh, in the first period, uh, they, they was going back and forth. They almost ran me over one time. If, if you watch the video, yeah. they almost landed on top of me, but I, I was lucky on that part. But mm -hmm. Chase got in on the single leg, mm. uh, got it up, and the kid was a little off balance. The kid, and he kept moving the kid, and he finished, executed the, the perfect uh, club to a uh, uh, trip takedown, mm. and 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 right there he established his his dominance on that kid because he started riding the kid, rolled him out for that whole first period, yeah. which is. I was shocked. I didn't yeah. think Chase could hold him down. Ain't yeah. I tell you. That big, I know. I thought he would come on up. <laughs> Me too. too. But Me he had too. two points at the end of the first period. Yes, sir. That and was then, huge. Yeah, that was big. And um and uh and uh like I said, Chase before the match he told me, he told me, I got this kid. I got this kid, I can do it, I can do it. I said, All right. Uh, you you gonna get your opportunity right here, right now. And he went out there and performed. Mm -hmm. Um going into the second period, um uh the kid chose down, yeah. and, and uh, this is what impressed me the most, the way Chase rode the kid. I mean, you don't ride somebody that big. If you will notice, Chase was in, he got himself in a bad situation one time. That's right. And uh, he was in a full split, but yeah. never panicked. He uh, came back up top and controlled the kid. Mm -hmm. And that right there, that second period right there is what broke that kid mentally. He broke the kid. Because he the, knew he couldn't get up. Exactly. Chase, exactly. And it looked like he had the spot on. He, he had did. leverage on him. When the and, kids, and when Chase came back on top, I'm like, what yes. in the world? Yeah, he couldn't get rid of it. He's like a piece of peanut butter. He was stuck <laughs> to it. Uh, the, actually, the kid got to his feet. And what shocked me was how Chase pulled him back into what we call a crab ride and nearly got back points with that. He should have, I thought. But... Uh, he still he he pulled that big guy right back in his lap and and tilted him up and yeah. I said, oh my goodness Chase I know. Chase has come mm -hmm. and and hey everybody got to realize Chase was on the shelf leading up to this tournament I mean me and him was wrestling around he was wrestling me at front he was on the shelf four to six weeks with a partial tear in his PCL yeah and he only practiced. Probably two weeks leading up into this tournament now. Yeah, see, I was thinking that's, about that. I, I said, I he thought was, he was hurt just a few weeks he ago. Was, he was, and he was. And, and that's another thing. He yeah. wasn't even in the best shape. Nah. And and he he dominated. And mm -hmm. uh, dominated this well, I ain't going to say dominate, but well. he he controlled the whole match. And in the third period, he chose down, yeah. which I was afraid that kid was going to look for cradles and stuff. Mm -hmm. But Chase revert, ended up reversing him yeah. and rolled him out again. Yeah. And so dominated the match, mm -hmm. completely controlled the match. Um, uh, not two minutes after we got done, I had 
four or five colleges texting me or calling me all of a sudden. Uh, you know, who is this kid? Yeah. What is, I mean, I mean, he's been around. You guys ain't just, you've been <laughs> slacking on him. Now you understand. This yeah. kid's legit. Yeah. He's legit. So mm -hmm. that's what yeah, it's all you about. You beat a kid like that, Coach. Mm -hmm. When you over there on the side, and, and, you know, I didn't, it didn't seem like you were as boisterous, and you don't have to be no. with some kids. Like some Chase, kids you don't. Some kids, they know where they are exactly. all the time. Exactly. I, right there, I mean, I pick and choose when I, when I see a kid struggling, and then I have to encourage him a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, then I, I, but right then, when he's controlling the match, when he's locked in, yeah. I don't. I just sit back and enjoy the show. You've already done your job. I've done coach. it. I've done it. And he's he, getting it. He's got exactly it. That's exactly right. He's yeah. got it. And yeah. um, we had a few. Actually, um, we placed third as a team in that tournament. We lost to that Kong team, um, but uh, we ended up coming back and get third. Um, and uh, that's impressive. Yeah, coach. we had uh, we had. Four other uh, storm kids on that on that first team. We had we had recruited the, uh, uh, some other kids around the state sure. to fill yeah. fill spots. And uh, the four storm kids, we ended up losing one duel in six six matches. Nice. One duel. Every, we had three go undefeated, and we had one that that lost. He lost a tough match to a top ranked kid out of Missouri. That's uh, that's uh, committed to Missouri. Yeah. So. I so you storm center now, and you know wrestlers from all over mm -hmm. the, the, the nation. I mean, you know, you, I do. Can, you can pull people to fill a yes, weight sir. class and yes, get sir. your best people, put together a team for duels. But um, who, who from storm center, were they from Perry? Or? Oh, we had, uh, we had uh, on the first team, we had um, Chase, Chase Horn. Yeah. We had two from, uh, from Veterans High School. Yeah. Uh, that's Julian Farber and mm -hmm. Francis Morrissey. Oh, yeah. Uh, Farber's going to University of Northern Iowa. Uh, Francis is going to Appalachian State, two awesome. D1 programs. Yep. And we also had Noah Pettigrew, who's from Valdosta, by way of Blair Academy up in uh, New Jersey. Yeah. He, he transferred to Blair Academy this past year, ended up getting third at Prep Nationals. Um, he's number six in the nation at, at, at 220. Uh, so he trains with us as well. He's been home training. He's been with us for, for several years as well, training yeah. with us. And, yeah. um, uh, those four guys were the staple of the of the uh, first team we had, and we filled in with other other kids from around the state mm -hmm. because we knew that Kong team was going to be there. Yeah. So we wanted to take basically an all star team up there. We mm -hmm. we and those guys performed really well. Um, we had almost every weight class. We had thirteen weight classes. We had ten Georgia State champs in 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 those weight classes. Awesome. So it was we had a really strong squad. I thought um, and. Uh, and those guys performed admirably. It was just running into that that Kong team where you had everybody ranked in the top five in the nation. That's right. pretty pretty that, tough that's to beat. Style. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. But if yeah. you don't compete against the best coach, you don't get better. You don't get any better. No, nah. you don't get you recognized. You can hang around here, yes. and just yeah. around the same people, yeah. or you can get out and get better. That's exactly and that's what's right. going to make our school. It's what has made that's, our program better. That's exactly right. And whoever you work with, Gerald, mm -hmm. I don't care who it is. If it's Vidalia, if it's East Lawrence, if it's mm -hmm. Trinity. Uh, if it's West Lawrence, if kids from Dublin, if, if you want to get better, you see Gerald, you yeah. go to Storm City, you watch when he comes here, you make the trip. I can guarantee you uh, one, two, maybe three days a week, somebody's in the vehicle, they'd be glad to put your kid in there with them. Yes, it's indeed. a good group of people. Yes. They look out for each other. Yes. They love the sport. They love to see kids excel. That's exactly and so right. So they'll throw you in the truck with them or whatever the mm -hmm. case may be and haul them back and forth to Perry. They'll get you something to drink and take care of your kid all the way. That's just part of it. That is. I mean, that's it part is of a family. You yes. talk about family and sports. Yeah. It's, just, it's yeah. just like any other sport. you got some kids that travel over there to uh, get baseball lessons right. or, or uh, basketball lessons yep. and all that. I mean, we're just mm -hmm. like any other sport. Uh, you, you just got to go where you're mm -hmm. going to get better. But one of the best things to me, though, and you got to say it, is that no matter what size you are, mm -hmm. You can compete. Yes. You can try to compete. Yes. You can take that weight class. That's you can exactly practice. Right. You can get better. No matter what your weight, bottom weight class is what? Well, uh, for high school, it's 106. All right. So you go from 106 to 285. Uh, to 285. Yeah. yeah. You got you got 14, 14 weight, weight classes, classes. To, to figure out where you land, yeah. where you can compete uh -huh. at. So right. that's what it's all about. It, it is. And yeah. it'll make a man out of you, no doubt it about it. it. Take another short break and be back with Coach Carr. You stay with us. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. 
Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. What makes C21 Durden Cornegay the number one realty group in the area? First off, we sell more homes, and our team of agents works harder than any other realty brokerage. Buying or selling a home can be made easy with our professionals, so make the number one choice in your real estate agent. Century 21 Durden and Cornegay Realty. For more information, log on to c21dublin.com or call us at 272-1535. I'm Don Carlson with Dublin Nissan. July 4th was just the beginning of Super Summer Savings here at Dublin Nissan. You'll love our all-star lineup of Sentra, Ultima, and Rogue. Dublin Nissan saves you up to $2,500 off MSRP on the Ultima SR. Or take $3,500 off MSRP on the Nissan Rogue SV. This Maxima SR is up to $4,500 off MSRP. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you'll ever need. Coach, we appreciate you coming in and sharing that about Chase. Uh, it's been some different times, Coach, because uh, I know since March, you know, a lot of people have been dealing with COVID, yes, but uh, you didn't roll the mat up. They tell me that you hit the door with a thermometer on everybody's head and say, come on in or turn around, one or the other. Well, as soon as they gave us the okay, we, were, we had to shut down for two or three weeks. Um, but as soon as they gave us the okay to start working with small groups, eight yeah. to nine yeah. uh, people at a time, we uh, we crunk it back up. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they gave us the okay to fully open, we were we were scanning to make sure that uh, uh, nobody was having a fever and no symptoms before mm -hmm. they got on the mat. And yeah. we've been going at it. Mm -hmm. um, um, and I've been shot, you know, people have been cooped up and stuck in their houses. And it's a lot, I, we got a bunch of new faces in the room because they want to get out and see what, what, what we're doing and yeah. how they can get better and stuff. And, mm -hmm. and, um, and, and uh, in some instances, it's been, a, I ain't gonna say it's been a blessing, but it's been a plus that these, they've been, been having to uh, isolate them, yeah, yeah, corn them, yeah. Yeah. themselves. Now they yeah. want to get out and do something. And, we're there to uh, give them, provide them yeah. opportunity to get out and, and, and be productive. So let's talk about when you do practice. Mm -hmm. and do, are, are you in Dublin at all now? You're still rotating or uh, not in this season? We, uh, we, we were practicing in Dublin, uh, solid. We're, we have the, uh, the Dublin wrestling room is located right beside the Shamrock Bowl. Right. And it's a standalone building. So we were practicing um, uh, with, my, with myself. It was Jeff Shepard. He, he helps me out when it comes to when I can't be there, he can run a practice. Mm -hmm. We practiced on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays at the wrestling room during the season. Yeah. I'm there every Monday, um, and uh, we, we just get it going. Jeff's been a good friend of mine. He wants, oh, yeah. to, he wants to see the sport grow as That's well, right. so he steps in there and helps out. Um, mm -hmm. And then we, in Perry, we also run practices Tuesday, uh, Thursday, and Sundays over in Perry. Um, what time? Uh, Tuesday and Thursday from uh, 6 to 7.30, and then uh, Sunday from 3 to 5. How do you get in touch with you? Uh, you can go, you can, you can contact me through Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a website, uh, stormwrestlingcenter.com. Yeah. Uh, you can call me. Uh, I, anyway, I mean, we're, we're Just there. Just holler. Just holler. Right. Yeah, yeah, we'd be happy to have yeah. you. Happy yeah. to have you. Yeah, I can remember, Coach, uh, uh, back uh, years ago, the Coca-Cola Classic, I guess, or Invitational, it was at, at Dublin. At, yeah, at yes, Dublin. Sir. I remember that's one of the first, you know, decent little tournaments, you know, we yeah. went to and walked yes, in there, man, they kids <laughs> everywhere they had it going on. Yes. I long for the day when, when Dublin wrestling and, and West Lawrence and East Lawrence wrestling, Trinity for that matter too, uh, excel like that again. Yes. We'd love to yes. see it come back. There's so many people that love wrestling and yes. want to see it grow to that level. We do. It takes you putting your young men it out does. there it and does. working on the sports you got to yeah. want to get better yeah it takes it it, it takes it, i mean not i you know a lot of people point mm -hmm. to me but it takes parents like yourself parents uh, 
who like Chase's parents yeah. who trust me yeah. and get their kids there and get their kids and, and, and yeah. get them to understand that there will be ups and downs, but you don't give up, you don't quit, you just right. go, you keep coming and fight through it. It, it's a, it takes a village to raise a champion, yeah, you know, yeah. just like uh, any kid in the community. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are tight knit, tight knit group. I mean, you've, you've seen it. I right. mean, once you get in that family, you want to see, you want to see uh, kids be successful and mm -hmm. stuff, but it takes great parents um, who, who, who support their kid and, and, and make, make them understand that quitting is not, is not an option. An option. It's not an option. Right. You, you start something, you get in there and finish it. Yeah. And then you'll see what the benefits, uh, you receive from all that. And, um, um, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, you don't quit. That's for sure. No, I mean, I, I mean, you know, I love the sport and I love my biggest, my biggest passion is seeing people just like Chase or Ben or my sons come. Yep. I mean, my yep. sons came through with yours mm -hmm. and, uh, seeing them develop in the sport and, and, yeah. and, and attain their goals, reach that goal. It ain't nothing like seeing, seeing uh -huh. a kid you touched and trained and yeah. worked with raise their hand in that state finals. It ain't nothing yeah. like it. I mean, yeah. it's, 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 it's a thrill for me. And, and you get to see it over and over. over. You yes. have, Coach, over yes. and over again. Yes. How many state champs do you think you had? Uh, high school? Yeah. Uh, we've had, uh, since Storm has been established, we've had over 60 or 70 state champs, individual state champs. Um, going back into the little kids, middle yeah. school kids, yeah. we've had well over, separate from the high school, we've had over a hundred, hundred individual state champs. Yeah. I mean, we've, I've seen it over, it ain't nothing like to see that spark in someone, these kids eyes and see the, the joy and the light knowing mm -hmm. what they went through. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the, the, uh, hard work that they put in and it, it, it uh, climax mm -hmm. to, to that raising their hand in that state final ain't nothing like it. Yeah. And you know, Gerald, not all kids get it, but, I'll, uh, but it is so impressive when you see that little kid coming along and then fine and you because i've yes. seen you coach you over there and, and the kid make that same mistake again and you say <laughs> and just walk off and it's like i get it i mean i get it i hope that parent got it yeah you, I, you know you get on your kid like i told you how many times i told you not to do it man i told you yeah but, i get a little animated going, sometimes. and then finally yes. they get out and they say I know what I know how to beat him. That's exactly right. I know how to beat him. I'm wrestling yeah. again. I'm gonna beat him. I know how to beat him. All yes. I gotta do is, and then it the, it clicks. It clicks. Yeah, the light comes on. You can. Mm -hmm. It's it's like night and day. You're yeah, out there struggling a little bit, and yeah. they and back in that same situation that they struggle, yeah. Yeah. and all of a sudden, hey. This is what he told me to do. I did it. Man. it yeah. oh, and it worked. It worked. There it worked. Yeah. And boom, you can see that light and that confidence, and yeah. they take off. Yeah. They take off. You can tell how excited we are about uh, wrestling, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get that same fever, if you yeah. want to see your young person grow and develop yeah. and have that confidence, uh, then you get them involved. Any yes. weight class, they can they can go in. You don't have to say, oh, he's too small to play no, football, yeah. too short to yeah. play basketball. Put him on that mat and see what happens. That's exactly right. And Give him you, opportunity. You can get the coaching right here. If you want him to do it, you yeah. can with yes, Storm sir. Center. We appreciate you coming in, most of all, for sharing uh, about Chase because, no you know, that's just another product of it Storm is. Wrestling and another good product of West Lawrence. I'm hoping he's going to hang around a couple more. I, I and, hope and, he will. Yeah, we'll I, I'm see sure what he happens. Will. <laughs> but he, he's got it. He's going to go. Uh, far in life with yes. his wrestling, it's going to open a lot of doors, yes. a lot more doors for yes. him. Yes, he's, uh, uh, like I said, I'm very proud of Chase. I'm, I'm proud of where he's he's gotten. Yeah. Uh, but we still got some work to do yeah. to get that ultimate goal. He wants to be he wants to be an Olympian, and, and being on the on the Olympic team requires a, a lot of work. And yeah. um, but that's his goal. And yeah. and I, you know I can I can respect him for that. And uh, we just, I'm just hoping that we can, we can get him on the right track and get him so we can pass him off to people who can take him to that next you level. You talk about stuff. support now. His parents have supported the program. And oh him my gosh. Right Unbelievable. I mean, uh, Jamie and uh, his wife have, have, uh, have supported the program oh, all the way through. They Dina's just, been the, uh, yeah, Dina. The, yeah, the she, mom. Miss Dina. She, I everything. mean, she. I mean, they. They. They are bend over backwards. Uh, I have to stop her from from uh, from feeding everybody <laughs> sometimes <laughs> because she. She. She's when she takes on that role as being the team mom. She yeah. really takes that on, uh -huh. and she. She forces me to eat at tournaments. I have to tear her to get away from me sometimes because <laughs> she keeps keeps shoving that stuff. But uh, she's a great mom. Yeah. Uh, Jamie. 
He, I mean, he doesn't make excuses for Chase. He tells Chase, this is what you got to do. I mean, if he loses, we, we try to fix what, we, what, what we're wrong and move on. He doesn't, he doesn't try to blame the coach for things. He yeah, understands. Good, it's, on the, it's on that kid when you get – that's the great thing about wrestling. It's yeah. on your kid and having parents like that, that's, that's what made my job easy. Yeah. I mean, it, it, and, and now Jamie, I mean, he's surpassed everything that Jamie – as ever expected of him, and right. it's a great, great, great thing yeah. to see. I couldn't close out, Coach, without let you mention Jamie and, and Dina because yes. they, they have. They, they're a great family. ideal family. Great family. They are supportive of the program, but uh, yeah. we appreciate what y'all have done, yes. and uh, we appreciate you joining us so much, Coach. Best of Thank luck you. to you. Thank you for having me. Power's out, you're out of business. But with natural gas, with the city of Dublin, when the power's out, you can still cook on your gas stove or shower with your gas hot water heater or even fire up the grill. Plus save money every single day because natural gas costs half the price of electricity and propane. Start saving today with the city of Dublin natural gas. Call Brad Grimes at 277. 5048 and you'll never be out of business with natural gas.